It's so strange that it always does that just before starting. There we go. We're back live. Okay, so <clears throat> this is going to be, this is our first episode of uh, Ghost Talks Live uh, 2020. Uh, tonight I'm with uh, Kyle and uh, Darlene, which is uh, still a new, she's a new member that just came in a little while back. Uh, how long ago now? Darlene? A uh, couple months, I think. A couple of months now, at least, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I hope everybody had a great Christmas, that you guys had a good New Year and a good start to uh, to the New Year. So um, we've actually all been sick with this flu going around. I was, I'm was i still trying to get mine out of my chest right now. I think you got some kind of flu I, too. I, right? Not flu, but stomach. <coughs> stomach flu, darling, had a pneumonia. Yeah. So we've all been a little kind of under the weather lately, so um, not very active at uh, this time. So uh, we got a couple of things we want to discuss with you. Uh, we have a new piece of equipment, which is the something we're going to try to experiment with. Right, Kyle? Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to, yes, but we can't, uh, we don't know all the details about it yet. We can give the general outline of, uh, of the, uh, the, you want me to say it? No. Yeah, go okay, ahead. Go well, on. The, the, we got uh, a Kinect Xbox set up for the, um, uh, you've probably seen a few shows like Ghost Adventures with the uh, the stick figure, so we're, we're experimenting with that. But we wouldn't, <laughs> yeah. we would not use this figure, piece yeah. of equipment yeah. Um, yeah, alone. Stick. You know, we we always like collaborate or uh, in, in conjunction with uh, something else, like a digital or yeah. a audio. You know, to back it up. I wouldn't want to use this. I wouldn't say it was paranormal. Just using well, we this, wouldn't uh, we wouldn't call it like scientific equipment yet. This well, one, unless we test it, right? Yeah, right. You know, so um, keep you updated with that. Um, we have a uh, a uh, a mobile version, and uh, you got. I'm not even on camera now, but uh, oh, so, <laughs> sorry, Kyle. <laughs> Where is Kyle? There he is. Oh, there he is. Cut me right out. He's yeah. back on. He's, he's over there. <laughs> we have two two units the stationary unit uh, that we're going to use in uh, uh, active spots in uh, wherever we're uh, investigating and uh, as well as a mobile unit where we can walk around with like a thermal imager more or less so yeah i'm just gonna check see if our live feed um again guys let us know if our live feed's coming out right if the uh the video is good if the audio is good uh we've been messing around with these setups for what a year now almost yeah. and i think we have it down path but again we had some difficulties again tonight which is why we started late again <laughs> um okay so <clears throat> what's on the table of discussion today so the connects so let's talk about the connects so if you guys have any comments that you'd like to put on our facebook page i'm just loading it up now uh maybe darlene you can maybe check the um the facebook feed and see if people check. ask questions yeah, i'm just gonna load it up now mm -hmm. if i can see it yeah so the basic function of it is, uh, it. Um, oh, you're gonna use your phone, though. Yeah. Okay. Like the, the the real use for it is is gaming, of course. Xbox. It, it allows you to be interactive in in the game, right? Yeah. So it it, it uh, captures your likeness. Uh, but the the software that uh, we'll be using uh, kind of picks out uh, anomalies. Uh, so points of. Um, I would say diversion, eh? So it's uh, all angles, right? Yeah, so yeah. They, they hit that point, and they, like <coughs> a, a knee, um, you know, your your arm, whatever, and then it'll fill in the rest, eh? So it'll fill in whatever. It doesn't have to be a, a figure of a man. It could be like, a, you know, strange-looking stuff sometimes. But you got to be careful because... Um, you like aliens. Yeah, we you couldn't... Capture we aliens. Be, you got to be, like... A, uh, a lamp could look like a man, you know, <laughs> a lamp shape. It's a ghost. Head. No, it's a lamp. Yeah, so you got to be it's careful lamp, with that. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, we're still in the experimental stage. Okay, so that's what we do, right? We we, yeah. we we try all these gadgets you see on the shows, and uh, none of them are, are proven to be, you know, scientific pieces of equipment. But we like to put them to the test and see... <clears throat> if somehow we can either prove or disprove that they work i know it's a hard thing to do to prove or disprove that something works because it's still 
the paranormal research field is still very it's, it's almost like it's still in its infancy because um there's so many things that can't be proven so but that's what we do as a team is we try to kind of put a science twist to everything so the Kinect is one tool we uh, are going to have hopefully on our next investigation, which I'm hoping is going to come soon. So um, as well, we also have a lot of applications that came in. Yes, yes, we do. Okay. We have yeah. about um, four. Uh, there was four that we are considering. There was a few more. There's four applications that we are considering. Unfortunately, we can't let everybody in. We are a little strict on who we let in. Uh, unfortunately, mind you, now we have a reserve list. So our reserve list is now, if you have, um, if you don't have the, you know, that much time to put into the team, we we'll put you on a reserve list. Not that it gives you less rights, but you're in less of an obligation to put in your time in the team. So if you people want to, to apply to be a reserve member of our team, uh, that's an option. Uh, we are presently considering, I think there's one person we're considering for reserve member, and I think we have three that we're considering for full-time members. Uh, one of these uh, persons is actually in Smith Falls. I'm not going to say more than that, but I think she knows who she is. So she's actually applying today. I think I haven't received the application yet. So Ghost is uh, going through a lot of different changes. We're getting some new members. You're going to get a lot of new faces coming up. Um, again, we'd like to ask you people, if you have leads on locations yeah. that you, um, you, you'd you like us to investigate. I hear my Sorry. echo on this. Sorry. If you, uh, locations that you'd like us to investigate or locations that you've heard that have um reported <laughs> paranormal activity let us know we'd love to get in there to investigate that's what we do we are a paranormal research team we don't promote events we're not event promoters it's not what we do paranormal research is what we do and that's what we specialize in so events we do some but that's not our specialty it's not our main focus doing the investigations is what we do best and that's what we focus on so we do have the uh that thing at the church that we wanted to do back in uh, December, which uh, we couldn't actually get it done because it, we just ran out of time. I was too busy during the holidays for people. So we couldn't really get it done, uh, unfortunately. And I apologize that uh, we couldn't do this before Christmas. Um, hopefully the church will still um, have us in there. So that was a paranormal workshop at the uh, St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church in Gananoque. This is not an investigation, just simply a workshop. Now, the tickets are probably going to go on sale for about $15 a pop, maybe $20. I think $15 is a reasonable price. Um, I think the community center or that hall behind the church can accommodate maybe 100 people. Now, th that money will go strictly to a local charity in Gananoque. So all the proceeds from the ticket sales for this uh, workshop that we're going to hold uh, will go strictly totally to uh, a charity, a local charity in Gananoque. So this is still in the works. We still intend on doing this, and I'm hoping we can get it done within the next few months. So I'll be contacting the church to make sure that uh, we're still a go, that we can still do it, and then keep checking our page for updates on uh, ticket sales. Anything to add, Carol? Um, she's <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. <clears throat> So we have uh, new applications coming in. We've actually changed some of our policies in the uh, application process, uh, which uh, has to do with uh, transportation. But uh, we'll leave that at that because you know that that'll be for people that are that apply. If you apply it to our page, you'll see that there's been modifications to our basic requirements. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, the only event we do have planned is the charity at the West, uh, St. Andrew's Pres Presbyterian Church. And uh, we do have quite a lot of leads for some locations, right? Yeah, and yeah. I'm going to be following up on Monday with uh, making some few phone calls. Yeah, okay, so we got Yeah. So we got some locations coming up. And okay, so let's talk what we do best. So let's talk about ghosts. This is what, the, what our show is supposed to be like. So if you guys are uh, tuned in, let, let us know what you think about the Kinect uh, setup, whether it's a legit piece of equipment can we actually capture spirits and ghosts with it? Uh, give us your opinion. Like, to post some comments on the live feed. Uh, Darlene will try to answer. Or let us know when one of you guys comment. And uh, we'll try to live answer uh, your question here. So, yeah, another, so another piece of equipment that, or pieces of equipment that we're looking at is, uh, uh, actually, we, we probably should have them by now. But we don't, our REM pods, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, REM pods kind of detect, uh, uh, it, like, what, what is it? How, what's the size it's it's like, um, so I think it's proximity. It breaks, yeah, it's a proximity. It breaks the kind of the 
what the, the magnetic it uh, breaks field. the field of the okay, uh, yeah. of the REM pod and then it it, it, it has an audible and that, alarm yeah, so and that it goes out but there's different kinds like some two feet some can even be yeah I think most of the REM pods the ones that are used in, the, in research right now are those um, they're called REM pods yeah. they're research by some uh, research company and uh, they're the round ones like you see on the shows and they're a proximity where where something comes in I think these ones though if they come in like you have to come in pretty close yeah. to, to, to well, set them off. There's, yeah, you gotta, I, I think they're about a, a couple of feet. Uh, uh, I think there's even some that you can set now. Eh? Or, oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's something we're looking into, REM pods. Yeah. And we need some new cameras. That's what we're getting, some new uh, night vision cameras. Yeah. So um, we had a bunch of investigations that we did, a couple of uh, private, in, uh, low, uh, private residences that we did uh, back in 2019, which we're still going through the footage. One investigation, we really didn't, didn't come up with anything uh, concrete as far as evidence. Uh, whether or not we may return on another night to this location to um, help these people out and figure out what's going on in their house, we may do that depending on, on um, you know, if they want us back there or not. Uh, unfortunately, one of the private residences that we did, we didn't find any uh, anything paranormal there, and that's what happens. That you know, when you investigate, yeah, you don't know. You you don't always catch something, and that's that's the misconception that people have with 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 paranormal research people think they're going to go to go into these houses and get scared and get goosebumps and all sorts of stuff is going to start happening and chairs are going to fly and things yeah, are going to move so and you're going to see apparitions it's not, it's not the way house. it works it's not no no fun no. House you're walking in. no 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 so that's not that's not the, what paranormal research is it's, it's 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 serious it's long it's it's a lot of research it's a lot of evidence evidence reviewing and sometimes you end up going to a location and you end up with nothing but that's part of the game. That's part of being a paranormal researcher. Um, it's not always fun. When you actually <laughs> capture something, it's fun, though. You know, mm -hmm. like when you go to the Trinity. Mind you, you weren't at the Trinity. I keep going yeah. back to the Trinity. and <clears throat> That place was... was. We need to get back in there, yeah. for sure. No, it, uh, I, I did find some uh, interesting things when we did the Anchorage, though. Yeah, at the Anchorage? The Anchorage, yeah. I, I still have some more footage to go through myself. I don't know about anyone else, but I've found a few things already, and I haven't completed it yet. Okay, so. okay. Well, that's one thing we're going to talk about. Like the, Okay, so we had we have one more private residence. Before, okay, before we get into that, I just want to mention, uh, if anybody out there uh, has any information on um, the, the bed and breakfast in uh, Renfrew, it's the Carswell House. Yep. And it's on Opiongo Road. Anybody have any information on uh, anomalies or uh, if it was, you know, haunted in any way? Uh, let let us know. You know, let us know on our. Uh, yeah, that's a place we would like we'd yeah. like to to yeah. try out because I we, think we somebody... don't have much information on it. So no, I actually <laughs> tried researching this place. And I couldn't find anything no, like a website no, or anything on the, it. The, 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 the Remax. <laughs> the know, Remax. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. going it's going into sale often. So yeah. maybe it's haunted. maybe it's, maybe maybe yeah, that's why it's people are just getting rid of the place. Yeah, from you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like well, I know that. Uh, well, maybe Josh. Josh is actually uh, yeah, new. There. Yeah, he might go over yeah. to the, you know, look in the records. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. See if he can yeah. Find something. Well, I don't know if Josh is watching Shannon, a live feed yeah. tonight. You're Shannon. Shannon. Yeah, yeah, Shannon. Uh, Shannon's in Renfrew as well. So maybe Josh. Uh, Josh is a new member of the team, which uh, was kind of weird how Josh came came on board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Josh is. Uh, this was not a. Uh, uh, this was a, a, a total disclosure. It was. It was a location that we did. It was a full disclosure, so there's no privacy or confidentiality on this one. So Josh was uh, with us uh, during the investigation at his place. He went on live feed, liked what we did, applied for the team, and now he's a member. Kind of weird how stuff uh, pans out, mm -hmm. but uh, so now Josh, but Josh is on a reserve member for now. He wants to see if he if he's got the time to put in. So uh, you know, we'd like to to uh, in the life we'd actually welcome Josh to uh, to the team. So okay, so now as far as other equipment, as far as uh, ghost hunting, what else could we use? Like what else is kind of like, nah, eh, it works, it doesn't work. Like okay, one thing I do know, and this is something I, I'm just gonna get my book. Keep talking about it. <laughs> just gotta go. <laughs> Right back. <laughs> You're gonna get your what your book? My book, yeah, I got the book. Okay, okay. So um, there's one piece of equipment that I think needs to be put to rest um, as far as doing paranormal research, and I think that's the spirit box. Oh yeah, I yeah, don't it's care just for that it just all. doesn't. Uh, 
So I know what you see. I know, guys, you see this in the shows, the spirit box, the ghost box. Um, again, if you guys don't know what a ghost box is, it's it's just a radio that scans through frequencies at 100 milliseconds. And the theory is that you can capture you know, multi, you know, like multiple syllables within that fraction of a second or you know 100 millisecond and actually get a full word, which is you know, technically not possible. Uh, but I think you get a lot of interference with it. So we've tried it multiple times. We did have some good results with the headphones mm -hmm. uh, when we did uh, the gel hostel with Colin. So that kind of um, that was that was her phone. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so we did get some good results though with it. But I think as a as a tool, the spirit box is is not. I don't think it's it's a good tool. I no, don't think so. I don't, I don't think I so. Don't like I'm not going to debunk it. We're going to still play around with it, of course. But I think as a parallel research tool, I don't think the spirit box is really legit as far as I'm concerned. My, that's my personal opinion. I don't know what you think about it, Kyle. Sorry, I didn't spirit get box. It all, but, oh, spirit box. Yeah, I, I'm not one. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle! <laughs> Pay attention, Kyle. I did leave for like a few minutes there and I was looking for something. But yeah, spirit box, I I don't have much belief in, in that, that one there. I don't well, either. No, I think none of us in the team actually yeah. believe much in the, the spirit box. Maybe I would like to try the uh, what was the other one there though? The um, it's ovulus. No, no. Is it the ovulus. Uh, is it the ovulus? The one that has uh, you ask a question, it'll put a word. Yes, the, the ovulus. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, sorry, no, not the no. ovulus. It's the geoport. The, oh, geoport, geoport, where you hear all these yeah. voices. Uh, I'm kind of iffy on that one. Well, it's kind of the same idea. Yeah. I, I, well, you know what? The thing they're expensive. Yeah. 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 So we take donations at www. Yeah. No, we're kidding. We don't take any donations. <laughs> uh, no, I mean I'd like to try that. And then, like I said, this is what our team does—the geoport. So what's what's the concept beyond the geoport? Is it like a spirit box, or what, what does it do? Like, what is it? <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's basically. I don't want to put same. you on the spot. Yeah, but... I don't know much. About I don't. It. I don't know much about right. it either. It's no. basically the same thing. It's I just said enhanced, I guess more. Yeah. Right? Like, uh, you, you seem to hear like uh, not only voices in there, right? Like there's back. I don't yeah, know background noise. I don't yeah. know what. Yeah. Uh, so. To me, they sound very echoey. Now, yeah, whether or not I, 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 I wouldn't mind trying a geoport. I probably, yeah. like I said, I wouldn't mind trying different pieces of equipment. Mm -hmm. um, again, now, if you guys uh, have any questions, please. Now, one uh, piece of equipment would be a, a sort of um, ion generator right? and energy generator to to give uh, a, a you know uh, an anomaly to mm -hmm. a chance to you know. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of like uh, what's the other thing? EMF pump. Yeah. Creates right. energy, it gives electromagnetic it, gives field. It a so boost. a it boost. A so that way, so if there's area, a area, you know, like in a room, eh? well, yeah. So if there's a spirit, a spirit present, it can yeah. actually kind of get on there. Okay, that's something we may try. And I mean, so I know it's something expensive. Like, you know, because the same principle as they're they're supposed to be stealing energy off of you, right? To yeah. manifest. Uh, so yeah. just give pump them in. Uh, you know. Like get an ion generator and give give them help, a little help, you know, along the way. Maybe we can make a box too, where you can actually, you know, kind of yeah. capture like a ghost in a box yeah. with this. Anyways, that's yeah, Ghostbuster yeah. movie. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that by way, by the way, the new Ghostbuster movie's coming out very soon. So another I'm doing a little plug here. Another uh, <laughs> new, uh, yeah, another new piece of equipment that is the, the full spectrum that we have there. So. Well, wow, we have a full spectrum, mind you. We um, had trouble with it at the last investigation. I got it going again. Yeah. Um, there was something wrong with the uh, power button, so it's still working. So there's a full spectrum that um, we're going to use as well. So there's a lot of new equipment that gonna, we're going to be testing out. We'd love to get a geoport. Yeah. Um, well, well, full spectrum, what is, what is like this? They've got the wide range of... Yeah, it's, it sees the full spectrum yeah. of light. It sees like, everything. Outside of what human eyes yeah. can see. Because you, know, you got our really spectrum is here, then you get ultraviolet, then you got the full spectrum where yeah. you see everything. So um, that's another piece of equipment that we're going to try to test. We've actually never uh, played around with the full spectrum before, but we're going to try to test that as well to see if it's a legit piece of equipment. And can you actually capture ghosts and spirits on it? So that's something we're going to try. So... Um, Again, if you guys, whoever's watching, I don't know how many people are watching right now. Okay. Whoa, okay, now we're low today. But it's a Saturday, everybody's out, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so um, now <clears throat> there's a couple of things that we, we just did the uh, uh, an event at the Willow Inn. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we investigated the Willow. Uh, there was it was a good a good event, and uh, we actually investigated the Anchorage across the street as well. And we captured some uh, pretty interesting stuff there, right? Yes, yeah, we did. There was some yeah. good uh, good EVPs. We're still looking into those to put them through audio programs to see how we can maybe debunk them. Um, but they're starting to look like some uh, pretty decent pieces oh. of evidence. Yeah, uh, yeah well, me and uh, Darlene uh, and heard a girl's voice in real time. Um, and I was pretty... Actually, most of the stuff was right off the bat. You know, when mm. these guys were on the other side, it was only me and her over yeah. there setting up equipment, getting ready to yeah. bring the group over. And uh, <laughs> out of nowhere, we caught a, a voice on the stairs. You yeah. Know, and, uh, and we didn't hear the other thing at the time, but there was the uh, the old style music. Well, once uh, I left my... I forgot the recorder there. And yeah. then it we hear a bang and then a pause and then you hear old time music as you were saying yeah, start like to fade in uh, yeah, yeah start to fade music, in yeah. and it was nobody at the, the anchorage yeah. at the time. no i had the and key then, i opened yeah. the door when kyle and i went in yeah and there's nothing <clears throat> close to this but it's not some uh, car driving by or anything there's nothing no. around it there was it was empty no, you know so yeah just, there was no one there there was no music no, playing in the possible. house yeah. there was nothing mm -hmm. yeah. you know mm -hmm. and um, I was listening to it and Kyle and I at one point you could still faintly hear the music playing and yeah. Kyle and I were we were just talking about oh you know maybe we'll find something on the recorder yeah. and we were just having conversation and we could still hear the music so we weren't hearing it yeah. right right there but yeah. it was on the recorder and mm -hmm. it comes in and it just fades right yeah. in also uh, in the, at the same time too was uh, the squeaks from the uh, like a cabinet door squeeze, we couldn't find out which one was doing it, and it, it was a cabinet right at the end, right at the top of the uh, stairs around yeah. the other side. It yeah. actually never moved. It was probably a residual sound, eh? like mm -hmm. I would imagine. Could be if residual. We didn't see yeah. it when we were right there, <laughs> and um, it could be, yeah. And um, what was I going to say with that? There, uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. No. Carry on. That's what happens when you get yeah. older. You lose your train yeah. of thought, right? It's okay. I do it all the time. <laughs> uh, have you done that? All the yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. We lose our train of thought. We're, we're getting yeah. older. We're, so, we're, uh, we're figure it out anyway. Was that only after? Yeah. It was only, so, yeah. since we're like... Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, it was... Um, it was, has been reported beforehand. Like, that That cabinet always oh, made sounds. Some sounds, sounds, yeah. And that yeah. door opening. So, it wasn't the first time that was heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now um, we got the new equipment. We're gonna we're gonna test out. So we have uh, we'll be posting the uh, evidence that we captured at the uh, Anchorage in uh, at the Willow Inn, which is a house. <coughs> Excuse me, the house that uh, it's a house that they uh, the will actually rents out. You can rent it out for a, a night. I, I don't know how many bedrooms it has. Oh, five or six bedrooms, seven bedrooms, like a fair amount of bedrooms. I think you can rent it out for 700 750 for the evening, uh, which if you, you're about 10 people, it's actually fairly cheap for the night. It's actually a really beautiful place. Mm -hmm. So this, you can check out the Willow Inn and uh, rent out uh, the Anchorage, which is where we captured uh, what we think is a fair amount of evidence there at, uh, at the Anchorage across the street. Mm -hmm. So um, now, the what, what I do want to stress too is um, what our team is, and we don't, don't really do events. Like, it's not our thing, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's, we want to do the church events, like like I said, because that's charity. We don't yeah. mind doing certain events sometimes, but I mean, we are a paranormal research team, and it's not what we do. So uh, I'm going to mention again, if you guys have any leads on locations where there's been reported activity, please let us know. Now, we can't show them the connects right now, because we can get and go. No, right? no. Okay, so we, we wanted to show you the connects tonight. So um, now the... Um, was I lost my train? No, I lost my train. I thought no. Um, I did have some notes there. So if you guys, whoever's watching right now, if you guys have any questions, please uh, ask uh, ask some questions at um, whatever you want. It could be about how we investigate, what our investigative methods are. That's one thing that um, a lot of people don't realize is um, which, which we talked about earlier, uh, which is something that we can't um, say often enough. Is when you investigate, if you're going to do uh, the scientific method, there's a process to investigating the paranormal that we do. And it's, it's, it's and I, I can't stress it enough, it's called controlled environments. That's the most important thing when you're investigating the paranormal is to have controlled environments. And that's what we do. We have uh, timed experiments, experiments that are synced 
with our DVR system, and that's the way you have to investigate. The less noise contamination you have, the better. Um, taking a lot of notes. Yeah. Um, and, that, and that's true, but that being said, a lot of stuff does come through when you're not even... Expected. When you don't expect it. Expect it. Yeah. So yeah. always keep your... That's what happened with us at the Anchorage. So yeah. keep your recorders running. <laughs> yeah, because you never know when can. something's going to pop yeah. up, right? You, you could have... You could just maybe leave a recorder somewhere sometimes and like at the Anchorage, at the Willow... Uh, we captured that, and I'll be. We I ha actually have not contacted the owners yet to let them know. Um, like I said, we just went through uh, the holidays, and uh, a lot of us were sick. I had the uh, this cold flu going around. Uh, Darlene had pneumonia. Actually, Taylor's not here tonight because she caught it. Now my wife caught it. Um, it's it's weird. This flu virus is going around. Everybody's getting it. It's just terrible. Like it's just terrible flu. So it really kind of put a damper on our stuff because uh, every single member of the team got sick. So one thing I do want to mention too, we do have our Ottawa Jail Hostel episode that's almost completed. There's a lot of other stuff that we need to work on. I know Adam and Colin are still working on that and that should be coming out like fairly soon. It's going to be a really good one. It's probably going to be about a 30 minute to 40 minute episode, I think. So that's going to be released fairly soon. Right now, I think they're just doing the audio uh, portion of it and a little bit of uh, coloring, I guess they call it, or, or you know, they're, they're adjusting the colors to the uh, the episode. So, yeah, well, stay tuned to, to actually know. We'll tell you where you can, uh, you know, or which uh, avenue. Yeah, you can, where, uh, where, it's where you can it actually watch that. it. So um, uh, we are planning to film a, film a second episode. We're actually, and that's the thing, we're looking for locations to film the next episode. Um, there was another one that's in the works with Adam and Colin. I'm not sure if it's going to come out uh, this year, um, but we're still working on some new episodes. So, so back to the subject of uh, investigating the paranormal. Like, what what advice can we give people? Like, as far when you when you investigate, like, what's what's important? Scientific approaches, controlled environments. That's number one. Yeah, it's yeah. most important. Yeah, that's. Um... Don't trust number two. Don't trust you. Don't fully trust your equipment. No, well, uh, put it to the yeah. Put put, put it, it to the, the test. test. That's that's the important well, thing. I, another yeah, two pieces of equipment is ideal for yeah. catching an anomaly. You know, and uh, that way you got the backup. You know, as, mm -hmm. so if you see something happen on one thing, it's you gotta have something back it up. Sink, yeah. Time sink it. Yeah. you know yeah. for sure. Yeah. Be skeptical. Yeah, be skeptical. You have to be very skeptical when yeah, you investigate. Yeah. Um, the thing with the sinking of the equipment is, uh, like, like, let's say an example was... Uh, I'm trying to think of an example. That we captured that, that had that backed it up. And, or how was it? It was something I debunked um, on once. Oh, was, the... Um, no. Uh, oh, that was the voice, eh? Your, was was it that whisper you're talking about? Or you mean at the private residence? Or well, wait, I think I can remember one at the at the hostel, which it was a, a real thing that happened. Was the, yeah. the cell doors, the cell doors slamming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, explain about that, like uh, how that that was backed up. Yeah, well, we we had captured, um, uh, like I said, we had captured a cell door opening and closing and slamming at the Ottawa Jail Hostel. Actually, we captured it like maybe three or four times. Yeah. And uh, we we had the uh, DVRs going, and uh, that that backs it up as well because we heard the doors open and slam. But when we went back to look at the cameras, not a single door was moving. So that's kind of like a backup because mm -hmm. now we can determine okay, well if the doors aren't moving, this could potentially be residual energy, like yeah. just this sound. There's not a door actually closing and slamming, but we actually caught the sound. Now, we know there was no door that opened and slammed because we looked at the DVR cameras at that exact moment where, because we time our clocks and said, okay, we heard the door at this time. Let's go check the DVR at this specific time and see if a door moved. Well, there's not a single door that moved. So we think it's probably residual. Mm -hmm. We counted we it about three, four times yeah, at the yeah. hostel. So the hostel is, is quite a location that uh, we've captured a fair amount yeah, of this, evidence this there. On, uh... The, the, the top floor the uh, top floor yeah. yeah well death row was the on death, death row. row yeah yeah so uh, always have something to back up your evidence or try to feel you know like you capture it on a audio and we did capture we had our recorders going at the same time so we heard the door with our own ears because we mm -hmm. actually heard it as well mm -hmm. we captured the doors on digital recorders mm -hmm. but then when we went to the dvrs we debunked that the doors didn't move 
So that makes it a little bit more paranormal because now you have a sound with nothing that could actually make the sound. You know, the door is not moving. It's not, it's not doing anything. So that's, that's, um, that's anyways, have something to back up your evidence. You just can't have, you know, like, uh, let's say your EMF meter goes off and oh my God, there's a ghost there. Doesn't happen that way. That's, you got to have something else to back it up. If your EMF meter goes off and at, at the specific time when you're synced with your DVR or with, uh, with some kind of other clock, audio over, yeah. with your audio <clears throat> and it's synced and you capture a, an EVP at the same time and you, you, you let's say you say, you say the, uh, and this is where taking notes is very important. If you see the EVP or not the EVP, but the EMF meter go off at, let's say, at uh what, what is it eight, at 8 35 then you know if you go on a recorder and you actually capture an evp that says eight where you actually when you actually do the evp you're supposed to state the time let's say you capture the evp at exactly 8 35 when the emf meter went off makes your evidence a little bit more credible so always have something to back up uh one thing not just have audio not just have video but have you know two pieces of equipment backing up the same evidence <clears throat> losing my voice with this cold no uh, so we didn't talk about uh we talked about josh our new newest member but what we did uh well it's in the preliminary stages but we did catch a few things that uh a few a few things that happened at josh's know, place at josh's, yeah, was, yeah and actually josh had told us that the, some other stuff went on Afterwards, after the fact yeah, uh, some, the something with a clock yeah. that was kind of weird yeah. and so, another scratch i believe yeah he got scratched again so who knows we might do another investigation at uh, josh's place yeah. which is in, in renfrew so mm -hmm. we might be out there again so um again we want to mention if you guys know about that carswell was it called Car yeah, Cars that, the, that the house carswell house uh on, um, Actually, I just gotta get my water again. Uh, Opiongo sorry, sorry. Road in Renfrew. Water Is there any other information? Carswell. You guys are on your own. Yeah. Carswell House. Yeah. So it's, it's a, and it's uh, I think it's just outside of Renfrew, but it's it's like a county road, I believe, eh? Opiongo Road. Okay. Um. Oh man. It's not. You can't good. find that. It's not like no. there's not much information on it. So Carswell I mean, Street. No, no, it's not a Carswell. It's Opiongo Road. Yeah, no, it's I know. It's the Carswell House. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's nothing coming yeah, up. No. So anybody with info, let us know. There's something we can talk about. You can always go to Renfrew or have uh, Josh or Shannon maybe go and yeah. uh, check to the out. library and check into uh, yeah some records. <clears throat> well, we may have um, a few other locations in another city that we're looking at right now, which is uh, should be coming up hopefully soon. So, something I want to talk about, Ouija boards. Mm. What do you think about Ouija boards? Is that a tool you could use for parallel investigating? Um, I, 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 I suppose, it, depending on what you're doing i mean you could if you're trying to do an experiment or something <clears throat> try and use it yeah. but um, i think it um it's it i, I it think could it could be led eh? the answers could be yeah. led by the even subconsciously you know is it really evil though a ouija board like it really wow. is it? I, I i don't think that it's evil per se mm -hmm. i think i do think that you be. know you can <laughs> you can <laughs> have good or evil come yeah. through it it's like any you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. just like anything else, you, it can be good or evil. Yeah. But I, um, I, I personally had an experience with a Ouija board as a child, as a, a young girl. Yeah. Uh, my mom had one, so my friend and I. Is went. that one of those little uh, one morning? The ones, yes. The ones you would get at uh, like a Toys R Us. The old-fashioned one, you know. I guess. With uh, the cardboard, the cardboard thing. Yeah. yeah it was, okay, uh, yeah. And the the little thing. You the push. little plushette. Yeah, and. Um, I was with my friend and that it was moving, but we both swore like it wasn't me. She says it wasn't her. Yeah. And uh, just some of the answers to the questions we were getting back, like we were scared. Yeah. We were freaked out. Well, you know what, what, what I heard about the Ouija board is that it's, it's subconscious and voluntary twitches in your fingers. Mm -hmm. You're not really wanting your fingers to twitch, but they twitch. Mm -hmm. And that makes the, the, the planchette move. Now, whether or not, like I've, I've played around with Ouija boards like crazy. Mm -hmm. I used to do these long Ouija board sessions 
and I played around with them for um, for quite a long time, and uh, I, I really never had any negative experiences with. Them. I know a lot of people are scared of Ouija boards, yeah, but I, I never actually like. I, well, I did it a few times too, and yeah, there was nothing that really like nothing scary. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, I, I don't know if, like I said, if it was my but friend that was be. moving it. It can happen. Be. Yeah, it can yeah. happen. Yeah, you gotta. Now, I've never touched one since. No. But now, what about actually uh, bringing in sp- the the theory of bringing in spirits from? using a Ouija board. Well, we managed like to do that without a Ouija board. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Trinity would be a place, yeah. or maybe uh, that would be a... I don't know. I mean, is it... Uh, you know, again, is it a tool to... to I, I've seen yeah. people use it in parental research. Yeah. Is it a, a tool that can be relied on, a scientific? No, I don't think no. so. I mean, maybe uh, maybe you can open you up portals. And, I, you can't back it up with anything. Yeah. Unless you're doing a Ouija board and, and you something. capture an EVP and something and else happens. Saying, oh yeah, I'm talking through the Ouija board. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> or you get the the plastic goes flying, hits the wall, yeah. bounces yeah. off the other wall, and then you go, okay, something's man. going on. <laughs> okay, now we got some when stuff starts flying off tables. <laughs> now we got really yeah. good evidence, and that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Is that I want this mouse to fly right off the table and hit the wall over there. So. Um, Again, the Ouija board is another controversial tool that some people use. I mean, we've never actually used it on an investigation. Whether we will, I actually have a Ouija board here. Um, for a time, I actually used to make my own. So, uh, so I played around with Ouija boards multiple times. And, uh, you know, I haven't, my ear is not in my forehead. I haven't gotten any uh, kind of bad vibes, bad spirits, or I don't think I've opened up any kind of portals to demons or anything like that. So, um, you know, I, I, whether it can be used as a tool, uh, I'm very doubtful, but uh, who knows? Maybe we'll try it one day. Maybe we'll do an investigation and actually use a Ouija board. That'd be kind of cool. So, yeah. So speaking of uh, tools uh, of uh, maybe a living nature. <laughs> tools of a living make, nature? Yeah. So tools of one a of living a, nature. Yes. Uh, you'll know what I mean in a second. And I think I know uh, where he's headed. Yeah. So there's one... one um, Person, one applicant that actually has experience, not not in the paranormal area, but I, I don't remember. It's a scientific area anyway. Using animals or right? oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so dogs a, dogs yeah. a dog in particular um, yeah you know because you could train a dog to uh, you know point out uh, a, a, <laughs> you know something anomalous there. Like, uh, so now we, we yeah, so the, we, I, know, I think we actually talked about the possibility of using yeah. a dog at an investigation. Right. But again, I mean, it's 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 a technique that uh, yeah. we can try to put to the test and can you actually yeah. find something with dogs? I mean, yeah, because they're know. more height, or, you know, it's well, so they say they're more they're sensitive and they're, they can see more than we a, can. Yeah. That's that's yeah. the theory. Um, I don't have an issue with it. I mean, we'd have to find a location that would yeah, allow a dog. That's right. But um, and well, it has to be a trained one. You know, it would have to be a trained dog trained for it for sure. So and a ghost, a ghost, yeah. a ghost sniffing dog, no, yeah. a, no, ghost, well, we, a ghost, a ghost sniffing like dog is our next tool. I always wanted a <laughs> ghost <laughs> sniffing dog. <laughs> yeah. I want a German short-haired pincher, actually, or a pointer. Actually. No, not a short-haired pincher, but a pointer. Oh, you know, a point so like a, there's, there's one. That's there's one. one. There's a ghost right there. Yeah. Um, how about a Jack Russell? Now, that'd be like that'd be well, hilarious. Yeah. They're hyper as crap. Those dogs. Yeah, but I think they're already possessed. <laughs> yeah, Jack Russells yeah. are already possessed. They're crazy yeah. dogs. Uh, as far as I know, I'm just gonna check our live feed. Oh, it's still working. Okay, so we're still good. Uh, mind you, <laughs> we have a lot of viewers, right? So we have one uh, one trooper that kind of tuned in, and I think that's probably Taylor. <laughs> so hi, Taylor. How's it going? That's kind of a uh, slow night. Name there? Uh, <laughs> maybe Walt. Walt. Uh, Walt always know. tunes in. Yeah. Maybe it is Walt. Um, so maybe we, we just started too late again. Yeah. Because we had video. We had difficulties. Yeah, or yeah, what, something that just or a software talks for twenty minutes. <laughs> 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 people probably logged off and there's nothing going on we hear some people talking in the background but they're not talking about anything they're not talking to us okay so um, all right so again uh, whoever's watching right now uh, if you guys have any questions please let us know uh, I know we haven't been uh, alive I think we missed a few months here and there um, circumstances uh, weather people sick so you know lives 
we uh, we don't get paid for what we do, and uh, we we don't uh, ask people for money. We don't take donations. This we we do this just voluntarily. So um, sometimes our lives um, get in the way. I wouldn't say get in the way because you know people have to make a living. But I mean sometimes our lives get in the way, and we can't always do our live feed every month. So um, I know on this year, what I wouldn't mind trying is um, we'd like to get some good guests. And mm. I'd like to get some good guests, like good people, like actors. And <laughs> um, is okay. that a hint <laughs> it's not a hint at all darling no hint at all I'm not even... okay so um yeah we'd like to get some uh, some good guests and uh, people that can actually give you some information um in different fields of the paranormal uh hoping that they could come uh, sit uh, with us in our nice little what you call it, I guess, our cave. little, <laughs> our little <laughs> ghost cave. Yeah, medieval. Cave. Mid, a little medieval ghost cave. Yeah. So we got all the really freaky stuff going in the background, you know, like skulls and so stuff. We had, uh, Jose. <laughs> yeah, hey? we Jose, Jose. When I, I'd love to have, I'd actually love to have Jose I'd again. Back, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. I'd love to have Jose come back yeah. again. Um, the here's something I'd like to touch on is uh, I, I just recently watched a show on exorcisms. Now, what's our take on exorcisms? I mean, I'm not a Catholic person. It's, it's not. I'm not saying that the people being possessed is, is not possible, but I'm very skeptical about it. My mom was exercised. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, we're finding a lot more stuff about you, darling. Three. Didn't want to talk about it. Three or four times. She yeah. Had to go three or four sessions. Yeah. But isn't like a lot of people say that that uh, possession could be attributed to a neurological disorder or a temporary yeah. like something like. Uh, to me, I mean like, that's that's what like, I think. Why sometimes. is it always Catholic? <laughs> to, like, I and, don't uh, know if it is. Yeah. Well, it seems like that's what you see mostly. It is. It, it's yeah. The cat, cat priests, say eh? Catholic priests doing. Exorcism. Yeah, but no, no, Jew, Jewish. I, oh, I've no, seen they? Jewish okay, too. I, I, think in Jewish, I think it's uh, just that there's more Catholic people out there, or yeah. they just sort of veer to the Catholic okay. because yeah. they see, oh gosh, this is evil. Catholic, they, yeah. Catholic mm -hmm. priest has to help me. Okay, so you, do you think possession is possible? I think it's possible. You? Yeah, I've seen it once. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to hear this one. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm 50-50 on it. Yeah. I'm not sure if, if sometimes when you when people go through this kind of stuff, if it's not maybe um, fatigue, mm -hmm. uh, some kind of um, neurological disorder that might happen, maybe uh, not a not a, um, a long-term disorder, but maybe something that just happens that one mm -hmm. time, something happens. So that's another topic that we might be able to, to, to chit-chat on is... is um, Demonology so, yeah. and maybe exorcisms. So what, yeah. So what kind of <clears throat> neurological disorder would make somebody just uh, all of a sudden totally different from what their their normal personality is, and uh, you know just focus on, let's say, oh mirrors for instance, <laughs> for like hours on end. <laughs> so. What would make a person do that? <laughs> See, we're laughing because we know the inside joke. So, um, but uh, anyways, we've already actually talked about that on yes, one of our last yeah. episodes. So I think that's what Kyle's uh, hitting yeah. on right now, and that's why I'm kind of fifty-fifty on it whether mm -hmm. possession is possible. Um, we had talked about that in the past. Um, I, I think maybe it is possible. Uh, I don't know. It's something I'd like to explore a little bit more yeah, as a I team. Don't, I don't say it i'm not saying it's a religious thing at all it, it, no it's no, not no, no. it's just but you know what would be cool actually if and... somebody actually does an exorcism to actually be there yeah and actually investigate it yeah, yeah. Well, that'd be something cool to do yeah. that's if somebody would let us be there at the same time yeah well i mean a lot of people have done it i think the warrens used to that did a quite a few uh, exorcisms yes. they were there investigating mm -hmm. mind you now um she just passed away she there. did yeah, yeah. Was it Elaine or Lorraine? Lorraine, Lorraine Warren. Yeah. What did they catch anything? <coughs> well, I know they caught the Warrens caught a lot of yeah. uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I've seen some videos on yeah. on YouTube, and um, but mind you, back then, I mean, uh, doing paranormal research was uh, you know the, the cameras were not as advanced as they are today. Yeah. Uh, recorders were not as advanced. Uh, they had uh, regular tape recorders, which I'm not. I'm not going to knock tape recorders as not being a good piece of uh, of equipment. Uh, they might still be good, but there is a lot of uh, noise distortion mm -hmm. with with uh, cassette tapes. 
But uh, I know that the Warrens were on quite a few uh, exorcisms, and yes. uh, they they caught some quite interesting stuff. So, if you know somebody out there that's going to have an exorcism, give us a call because we want to be there. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My aunt's getting exercise. You guys want to kind of come over? Yeah. Okay, we'll be there right right away. So, anyways, that's something that we'd like to try as well is uh, trying to see if we can actually attend. Uh, if it ever happens, I mean, um, I, I in my lifetime, I'd like to at least do it once. Maybe attend yeah. like an exorcism and and see um, and see if we can actually capture some kind of evidence of of mm -hmm. something paranormal going on. Um, or debunk it. I mean, but then again, we're not doctors, so we don't know. The thing is, you know what I noticed too in exorcisms? Do they actually yeah, okay. do they actually do like uh, research on the people before and find out like okay, what's the yeah, history of the family? I, uh, or I'm sure. So. I, I I they're always. I know in the Catholic uh, priest, uh, they they always want um, uh, them to go through the psychological test first. Hey, eh? like the the this to go see a psychologist to see if it's something else before doing an exorcism before doing it yeah that's... okay well i know there's there's certain teams out there um oh jeez um i think he still does it it's um it's on um um, yeah, certain teams out there do uh, are into demonology and, and things mm -hmm. like that, and we we don't knock it. I mean, it's it's still paranormal. It's been out there for a long time, and uh, it's definitely something we'd like to get into to to find out if we could investigate uh, something yeah. like that and see if not just investigate like a house, see if it's haunted. But there's a lot of different things that can yeah. be paranormal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, like uh, aliens. Uh, Sasquatch, uh, cryptozoology, and there's all sorts of different things. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think we're going to be going out soon looking no, for Sasquatch. No, no. Um, I don't think that's going to that's happen. It's been done to death. <laughs> it's yeah. been done to death, so we're not looking for Sasquatch. Yeah. Um, aliens? Well, uh, unless we got a spaceship to go out to. <laughs> They're all dead. The ones that are we're gonna in get. Here, you know? We're gonna get a ghost spaceship. We're gonna check it. We're gonna check out for aliens. I promise. This is water. It's not vodka. So we're good. Um, so okay. So we talked about. I mean, that's that's what ghost talks about. It's talking about paranormal stuff. So, um, so we kind of touched a bit on equipment. I wanted to talk to. I kind of came into my mind Ouija boards. It's kind of a cool thing and exorcisms. Now, one thing as well. When when there's what about demons? You know, you see a lot of shows yeah. and it's always, oh my God, it's a demon, it's a demon, it's a demon. As soon as it's something evil, everybody calls it a demon. Yeah, Why is it always a demon? I, it's because of the Catholic religion, it, right? Uh, or, or the religion from, you know, well, the Catholics, the, the Muslim, Muslims, I believe, and um, uh, do the, Judaism, maybe? Do, do they have a de is that? I don't, I don't, make, I don't want to make any politically yeah, incorrect why. statements. Not, but, yeah, I don't, don't want to. I don't know, know enough about it. So, but they're labeling. Case. They're labeling something. It's our lucky uh, bill. They're labeling a dark spirit uh, as a demon. demon. Yeah, it could just yeah. be like a, a bad ghost. Who they're bad yeah. when they're alive and they're bad. Yeah, they're they were bad in in, in in the living and bad in, yeah. in death. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we investigate, we don't really call anything a demon. We can either call it a negative presence yeah. or a positive presence. Now, some uh, some say like uh, there's a theory out there that the some uh, well demon or bad spirit was never human, right? It was built up from. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it was energy. yeah negative oh, energy. Yeah, yes. well, that's what the, that's well yeah. a demon is 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 an entity. That's never been part of this world, as yeah. far as I know. I mean, I, I'm not a, an authority on yeah. demonology. There's a lot of uh, people out there that know a lot more about the, about demonology than we do. It's not something we specialize in. But, I mean, my take on it would be that a demon is something that's never been part of this world. And it's just pure negative energy. Yeah. And then maybe, yeah, maybe it gets built up and then built up. And then it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. And somehow maybe it can possess a person or come into our dimension or our... Yeah realm of reality and and somehow exists here or somehow. is it some creature from another dimension you know? <laughs> who knows <laughs> oh my god seriously <laughs> so uh like leprechauns it's possible it's and we're gonna look for leprechauns yeah yeah leprechauns yeah I st i'm still looking for that pot of gold i still haven't found it i can never find the end of the rainbow i don't know why i keep looking but i never get there so um okay so the demonology is another thing now 
the be cutting it soon there we're running out of <laughs> <laughs> okay so so if, if, if anybody's watching if anybody's watching tonight uh, if you have any questions please let us know well I got we got a few viewers um, I don't know who that is but uh, any questions John? Like no, nothing at all that's quiet you guys are really quiet tonight like we're, we're not getting uh, getting much I guess because we've been out of commission for a while uh, maybe we disappointed you guys too often but anyways uh, we're gonna try to do our shows every every month now. Uh, so the next one will be. Do we have a date for the next one? Next show. Mind you, I wouldn't mind having a, a guest over for next 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 show for uh, February. Yeah. We have a yeah. time. Like an actor or something. <laughs> <laughs> so um, okay. Hmm. So again, we have. Um, our team is going to get a big makeover. We have uh, possibly another maybe two to three members that are going to join our team. Uh, interviews are on the horizon right now for these people. Uh, so I'll be making some phone calls shortly. So you'll see a lot of new faces within our team. Uh, jail hostel episode which should be coming out in 2020 and we'll be working on a second episode uh, which could be revolving around the willow or another location so that's all coming up in 2020 don't forget to check our facebook page for the charity workshop that we hopefully will be doing at the saint andrews presbyterian church in gananoque that's going to be another location and we got hopefully a bunch of other stuff now this is something i want to talk about Villisca didn't work out this year right no didn't work out we we didn't end up going to Villisca this year uh we we did have a winner Walt which he was very understanding and if we do go back Walt will be the person coming with us if you're listening Walt um that invitation you did win so that invitation is still there so if we do Villisca you are um coming with us if you can and if you still want to so this is something I want to plan and we want to plan like like start planning now for next summer um, and I think we should be working on that because I, I, I still want to go to do those two locations. I, I still want to do those two yeah, locations. I want to do, do um, the uh, Indianburg Manor, mm, which yeah. was, that's an asylum, which mm -hmm. we still want to do. And I still want to try to see what we could find at the uh, Villisca Axe Murder House. I still want to do mm -hmm. that. So that's possibly upcoming for summer 2020. So we'll keep you guys updated on, on that. Uh, so keep checking our page. And uh, again, Walt, if you're listening, you're you're more than welcome to come with us, uh, as you did win the last uh, last uh, last time. And uh, so, yeah, we're you you're gonna come with us if if you can. Now, next show is gonna be 29th. 29th? Okay, so February 29th will be our next Ghost Talks live feed. And hopefully we'll have a, some special guests. Uh, when am I getting uh, Jose and there's a couple of other people that we are looking into having over? <laughs> and there's what, yeah, possibly somebody to talk about physics at the end of the Yeah, thing, physics, so. yeah. yeah. Well, one, one person we, I wouldn't mind getting is somebody from mm -hmm. uh, either um, university mm -hmm. uh, who is based and uh, has a scientific background who could sit down with us and actually talk about our approach or maybe um, give us some you know let us know whether our approach is good yeah. is it is it not good yeah, are we on the right right track because that's what we want to do we want to be on the right track yeah. as, a, as a parallel research team and that's that's what's important to us is to actually do uh, things right so anyways we're gonna log off for now so uh, keep checking our page there's uh, hopefully there's a lot of stuff that's about going to be coming up there's going to be the charity at st andrews presbyterian, presbyterian church there's going to be uh, new members uh coming into our team uh we do have quite a few locations that we're looking at some in renfrew some in uh i guess in say the town possibly smith falls is another place and uh, maybe we'll have an event here and there for you guys to attend where you know tickets will go up for sale and um you know it's like i said we're not event promoters it's not what we do we do parallel research and that's that's our focus and that's our, our it's what we like doing that's why we do this it's not to promote event but events but you know we like to do stuff where you you know you know public stuff so you guys can attend mm -hmm. <clears throat> sorry i'm losing my voice so next live feed will be february 29th uh same place 
about the same time, late as usual, like we always do. I like to thank those who kind of were still <laughs> listening to the live feed tonight. Uh, we did start late, so we'll try to be on time next time. So I do I want to thank you guys that actually listened in this evening. And like I said, we're still getting over some colds, and I'm still having problems talking. So we're not as enthusiastic as we usually can. Taylor couldn't make it because she got the flu as well. I want to say hi to the rest of the members of the team. I wish you guys could have been here this evening. Taylor, take care of that cold. It's a nasty one. So I'm, we're going to sign off. All right, we're not going to sign off the usual. What was, it, what was it we usually do? Lights out? No, we're not going to do that tonight. We're not into it. <laughs> so next Life Feed, hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll discuss some new pieces of equipment for you uh, with you guys. We'll hopefully have um, a special guest to attend the Life Feed in February. So uh, I'd like to thank you guys again for tuning in and tune in next uh, February 29th for our next episode of Ghost Talks Live. Have a good night, guys. Good night. See you later. Bye. <laughs>